Are you looking for an easy way to run an auction using Twitch channel points? Look no further. In this video, I'll show you how to set up an auction using Twitch channel points. With this feature, you can auction items, giveaways, special perks, much more. The viewers can bid on the auction using their channel points, making it a fun and interactive experience for everyone. So whether you're a gamer, artist, content creator, Twitch auctions can add a whole new level of excitement to your stream. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Silly V, and in this video I'll show you how to run an auction using Twitch channel points with the help of StreamerBot. If you're not familiar with it, StreamerBot is a great tool for streamers, allows you to create custom chat commands, alerts, and much more. Check out the links in the description for a beginner's guide to StreamerBot and some other cool stuff you can do with it. And here's how my setup looks now that I can run auctions. As the streamer, I can use the command auction start to begin the auction. This will create a reward named Auction Unclaimed. Viewers can redeem that reward using their channel points. My default bid is set to 10 points, but I can also set an optional initial price by adding it as an argument when I start the auction. Initially, the starting bid for the auction is set to a small amount. However, as more viewers place bids, the price gradually increases. After every 10 bids, the price jumps to a higher amount. That means that if the auction is popular, the price can quickly skyrocket leading to intense competition among bidders. When a viewer redeems the reward, the price goes up and the reward changes to auction and their username. If someone else redeems the reward, the previous bidder gets refunded and the auction continues. That's how auctions work. To end the auction, I simply type auction end and the winner is announced, or I can just type auction cancel and everyone is refunded and everything is canceled. To import the feature, download the import file from my Gumball page you have a link in the description. You can choose to support me with a small tip, but you can also just put in a zero, get it for free, and download the file. In StreamBot, click Import, paste the content of the file, and then click Import again, and then Confirm. Next, go to the Commands tab and enable the three newly imported commands. Auction Start, Auction End, and Auction Cancel. Double-click each command to enable it and adjust the permission as needed. Finally, go to the Platforms tab and create a new channel point reward named Auction. Set the action to Auction Bid and disable and pause it. Set a 5 second timeout to prevent simultaneous redemptions. Confirm the changes and the Auction feature is ready to use. If you're curious about how the Auction feature works behind the scenes, let's give the code a quick look. This function initializes the Auction by finding the reward named Auction in the list of Twitch rewards. It also checks for an optional input for the initial bid amount and sets it to 10 points by default if it's not specified. The reward is then enabled and renamed to auction unclaimed. All used variables are set to their initial positions to ensure a clean start for the auction. This part is called when a viewer places a bid. It starts by getting the information it needs, such as the ID of the last redemption and the username of the current bidder. If there was a previous bidder, the bid is refunded the new bidder becomes the highest bidder. Next, the function calculates the new cost of the reward. The cost of the reward starts at 10 points and increases exponentially with each bid. Specifically, the new cost is calculated by taking 10 to the power of the length of the old cost minus one, and then adding it to the old cost. Sorry if the math sounds complicated, it's just a simple way to make the price increase in a fun and fair way. After the new cost is calculated, the rewards cost and title are updated to reflect the current bid and the name of the current bidder. Finally, a message is sent to the chat to announce the bid and the IDs of the current bidder and their bid are saved in global variables. This part is responsible for ending the auction. It first retrieves the reward ID and the last bidder's redemption ID from global variables. If there were no bidders, the function announces that the auction ended with no bidders. Otherwise, the function fulfills the last bid and announces the winner. Afterwards, the function disables and pauses the reward and resets the global variables to their initial values. And finally, we have the cancel auction function. This function cancels the auction and announces to the chat that the auction has been cancelled. If anyone bid on the auction, the function refunds the redemption and then, like the end auction function, it disables and pauses the reward and resets the global variables. That was a quick summary how the code works. That's it. Let me know how the auction feature works for you and feel free to DM me on Twitch or Discord.
if you need any additional help or want to request custom work. Don't forget to subscribe for more streaming bot tools and layouts and follow me on Twitch to see it in action.